Hello guys and welcome to another Taking One in One Minecraft modding for noobs tutorial. Today in episode 2 we will be making our first block. Make sure you've got Eclipse open because this is where we're going to be doing most of the programming. Uh, uh, keep this in mind, Minecraft modding does not require any programming experience. Having so would be useful, uh, very useful, because you'd be able to take advantage everything you're you're going to learn today in these epi in these episodes. So if you have any programming experience with um Java, that's that's great. I mean, that's going to come in handy. So today uh so right now we're going to make our first class. Uh go to net.minecraft.source or sir and right click on it, uh, go on new class on the green C and you're not going to need to worry about any of this stuff just go into the name and uh, you can name it anything you want but it's best to do mod underscore uh, when you're making a mod because then you'd know whether or not it's a mod or not or and not just you know some part of the minecraft so i'm going to be i'm going to be making a tin block so mod underscore tin you can call this anything you like it doesn't matter one bit and as you can see uh, out comes our little thingy here this is the starter like a starter pack and what you want to do here is um, uh, you can put this there if you want if it, if it satisfies, satisfies you that much and then on top of here type in extends base mod what this does it tells minecraft that this is going to be a mod and this is part of a mod loader i think yeah, mod loader helps out a lot here. So, and if you missed out, if if you haven't got mod loader installed onto here and decompiled with mod loader, then I suggest uh, recapping what we did last time on episode one. Uh, and once you've done that, you should see mod underscore ten light up in red. Uh, what you're gonna do is gonna gonna go on here and oh oh oh, go on here, hover over this, click on it and double click add unimplemented methods or you can just hover your mouse over it and then click it but you know either way is cool uh, now delete the overrides because they're going to get in your way and they're really annoying uh, now what you're going to do first let's deal with the string get version uh, let's do that there because I like it like that what this does it's public which means anything can use it a string which means you've got to return a string and the get version is the name of the function so get rid of the null put quotation marks there and let's uh, let's give this thing a version since this is our first version of our first mod we're going to call it 1.0 you can give it a different version name if you want but you know nobody really pays attention to the version so you can put practically put anything you want okay here's um here's what i like to do in minecraft modding uh, let's do that again. What we're going to do, we're going to make it so that these curly brackets are closed together like that, like a hamburger, and do it like that. Because we're not going to be using this function, but it's absolutely, but it's, it's you know, essential for this. So yeah, just put it like that. What we're going to be using instead, we're going to type it by ourselves. Uh, public, type with me please, public mod underscore tin or or whatever your thingy name is uh, two normal brackets curly brackets and yeah that's what we that's what we're gonna be putting inside everything so you may be wondering okay we've prepared all of our stuff now can we please get going not yet I need to tidy up a bit first you can do this if you want but it's not essential I'm gonna cut and paste this and put it at the start and I'm going to minimize it like that so that you see it no more. Now we're going to go into more interesting stuff. We're going to make our block. Now, um, now let's let's get started. Now scroll up until you can find block.java. If you find block.java, double click it. I found it. And what? Well, oh. Now, hold on. Yeah, I'm still recording. Now scroll down until you meet these giant things, you know, these long list of things 
They are massive. I mean, she, seriously, look how much. But don't let that confuse you. All you need is one line. Uh, select all of it. Uh, copy. And paste it. Don't paste it in public mod underscore 10. Don't do that. Paste it here, just above here. And you'll find that we have now... Uh, this, this tells Minecraft that we are now assigning... We're making a block called stone. But we don't want to make a block called stone. We want to make a block called tin. Or, you know, whatever you want. So, this is public static final. Don't ask me what this is. The, I, I, I don't know... Oh, of course I know what Java is, but... You know, I don't specify in Java in any way, you know. Learning how to Minecraft learning how to mod in Minecraft was the first Java experience I've ever had, so don't ask me what this is. Block tells Minecraft that it's a block. Stone is the block name. Let's change that to tin. I leave it like that. And we're going we're gonna have to take block stone. We don't want this to be a stone, so let's get rid of the stone. And it'll be block. Now this is the block ID. This has to be unique. It can't be the same as anything else here. So let's make it, you know, a high enough light. I don't know, 200. Wait a second. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> okay, moving on. And this number here, that's not supposed to be there. What, what's supposed to be there is the material prototype of our block. So type in material dot, and you'll get a list of um, list of templates. Uh, now this is like this is like how you want the block to be like. So say if you make say if you put grass material dot grass, then our tin block will act like grass. If you make it you know leaves, then tin will act like leaves and so on. But we don't want it to act like dirt or leaves or whatever. We want it to act like tin. So we've got to find the closest we can here, which uh, which is uh, iron. Yeah. So here, iron is the most uh, closest thing there is to tin. So, so now tin is going to behave like iron, but we won't even notice it because it's called tin. Okay, uh, set hardness. Uh, set hardness uh, sets how many hits it takes to break the thing. So this is how a normal stone would break. I want it to be a little bit stronger, so I'm going to make it 2.5. Make sure you have the capital F. Set resistance is how strong it is to explosions, like TNT or something. Yeah, that's, that's how strong it is to explosions. Let's keep it like that. Set step sound is a sound it makes when you step on it. Unfortunately, the variable isn't set inside this Java file, but is set in block. So we can only use it in block and not in mod.10, mod underscore 10. But luckily, thanks to me, we there's a way around it. At the start of sound stone footstep, put block dot, and yeah, we, when you use uh, the file name dot, you can access any of the variables that are public, any of them. You, know, you just just choose it. Yeah, okay. So you can use it in anything. All you need to do is just put in the name of the file and then put dot, and you'll get a list of what how many of what variables you're able to use and there you go. Uh, lastly, set block name. I'm sure you can figure this out by yourself. It says the name. Uh, tin. Of course, we want it to be called Tin. But, uh, okay, now moving on. Now, we're going to, now we're going to register block. Mod, now type in in public mod underscore tin, put in mod loader dot uh, register block I think that's how it's called. Oh, it's not. Okay, mod loader list. Tell me what is it called? Register block. Oh, it's register block. That. Oh, I did get it right, and it's just this didn't tell me. So this is quite easy. I don't even think this is essential, but I just do this anyway to avoid any errors that I might run into. So make sure you register the block. You don't need to, but if you run into errors, then register block. I don't know what register block is for, but put it in anyway because it's useful. Now we're going to make the name mod loaded or add name alongside that. Uh, now the first one put in tin, we want to we want to name tin and here put in quotation marks and whatever you want to name the block. Uh, we want to name it tin because it is tin, you know. Uh, so now so far we have made the block, we've registered it and we've given it a name. <sighs> I feel so proud.
Now, let's put it into the creative tabs because of course we're going to want to see it. So mod loader dot set. Oh, I I forgot. Uh, damn, I, f I forgot. I forgot how to do this. Um, mm, where, where, where? Hmm, I forgot. I, f I forgot how to add it to thingies. Uh, hold on a sec. I'll be right back. Okay. Hello, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot for a minute there. Don't put mod loader there. Uh, to set it to a creative tab, I put in tin or whatever your thingy name is. Thingy dot uh, set creative tab, and put in creative tab dot, and you should get a list. But unfortunately, we're not getting it right now because it's being an idiot. Come on, come on. No, oh, fine. I'll have to look through the source codes myself and find out what I'm doing wrong. <sighs> creative tab. Creative tab. Oh, creative tabs. Whoops. Uh, creative tabs. Do oh, here we go. Put in creative tabs. And uh, choose a tab you want to put it in. Since this is a block, we're going to put it in tab block. Uh, there we go. And now we want to give it a texture. It's really easy, you know. Uh, T yet again, type in tin dot. Uh, this one's a little bit more difficult. Uh, this is block index in text in texture equals mod loader dot add override uh, slash. I'll explain in a minute. Slash terrain dot png uh, tin dot png. There we go. There we go. Now we have successfully added the thingy. Now, um, <coughs> this is my icon for tin. Uh, this is it. It's supposed to be a tin block. And it looks pretty neat if you ask me. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit basic, but this is what the tin block is going to look like. Hold on, let me open it. This is what it's going to look like. Oh, oh, what do I do? Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, now... We we want to go to our Minecraft Minecraft uh, thingy folder, and we're going to make a new folder. We're going to call it Graphics, or you can call it anything you like. This is just optional. This this is just you know more convenient. Okay, now that's it. Now it's in the Graphics folder. Open up uh, Eclipse. Go to Tin. Scroll all the way up, and now drag Tin into net.minecraft.source. Click OK. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you should see tin.png. You can close that now. Uh, we'll just leave that open. You can see tin.png is now in Eclipse. Uh, now, now time to explain this. Block index in texture is the block index with the texture, of course. Uh, moving on. Mod loader or add override is to add, you know, a thingy here. And oh, oh no, I did something wrong. I did. Uh, there we go. Add override is to add one of these things. It's just it's just a function you'd use to add textures, all right? Uh, slash terrain dot png tells all of this that what they're adding a texture to is in fact a block. Yeah, slash terrain dot png. If you put something else, then it won't work. Trust me. Tin dot png is obviously the name of our texture. Uh, yeah, we are pretty much done here. See? Was that so hard? No, that's what. So, uh, let's go ahead and test our block. Let's run Minecraft. And we're going to have a look at our tin block. Yeah, I know the, the, the block isn't very good with you know, graphics-wise, but you know it was just a quick thing that I made behind the scenes, you know, just to give you something. Just to show you, just for an example, you know, in the tutorial. Oh, wait, 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 Hold on, hold on. Wait, this is survival mode. Oh, no, I don't want to go on survival mode. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, no, let's go on creative mode. Uh, new world creative. There you go, now we're on creative mode. <coughs> okay. Now, once it loads, we can now test out our block. It should be in the building blocks one because, as I've shown you, we've added tin to the tab block. 
So let's scroll down. Oh, what did look tin? Let's get some tin. Uh, now we've got some tin in our inventory. Let's try placing it down. Oh, look, tin. Oh wow, look. And if then listen closely to the footsteps. As you may hear, they sound like walking on stone. So, uh, yeah, that's it. You have successfully made your very first block. But um, next time on uh, the Minecraft modding for noobs, we're going to be creating our very first item. Unfortunately, the item won't, you know, do anything. But so what? So what? You know, it's our first item. And next part, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I'll have to work. I'll have to figure that out next time. Anyways, uh, yeah. Look at all that tin I placed down. Yeah, that's because I'm on creative. Oh wait, uh, one more thing. Since we set it so that it acts like iron, if we get a diamond pickaxe, and yeah, and we set it to uh, survival, uh, if we try and break this with our bare hands. It's going to take forever. Whereas if we use a diamond pickaxe... Oh wow, look! Just like iron! Exactly like iron. So... Yeah, that's it. That's how to, you've f successfully created your first block. If you have any problems, uh, don't be shy to comment below. I don't bite. <laughs> I appreciate everyone who... If you have problems, comment down below. You know, I, I, I won't hesitate to answer your comments and solve your problems. That's what I'm there for. Helping. <coughs> <coughs> Anyways, uh, see you next time in the Minecraft modding tutorial for noobs. See you there, guys. See ya. Yeah, I guess I'll see you there.